Uh, soul crushing newbie mistakes to avoid at all costs. I'm going to just give Nelson an intro here. Uh, he joined Mob Idea in 2013 as an internal media buyer, so we have that in common. That's actually how I started my career in uh, affiliate marketing as well. I was in, brought in as an internal media buyer at Neverblue, um, and then he has risen to become the director of the affiliate managers, the, the affiliate director, so he knows the industry really well. He sees what works. He sees people making mistakes out there, and he's trying to help us make fewer of them. Uh, so <clears throat> another great thing about Nelson is he's worked with uh, Lewis, who's the head of marketing over at, at Mob Idea, and they've created this great thing called the uh, Mob Idea Academy, where it's just a great sort of compendium of knowledge uh, about uh, you know about what to do in affiliate marketing and, and what works and what's going on. So make sure you go check out the Mob Idea Academy. I'm going to throw over the presentation over to Nelson here, or uh, Nelson, and he's going to give his presentation on some newbie mistakes to avoid. Let's go. All right, uh, Nelson, there we go. And I'm going to mute myself. And... All right, all right, good, Nelson. Can you see my, my screen, Eric? Yes, I can. Just put it into, pre yeah, there you go, present mode, perfect. You're off. Exactly. So, uh, first of all, Joshua, excellent presentation. It was amazing, and it reminded me for, for my time in Mediabuy. It was very, very good. And actually, some of the topics that I will go through, they will also uh, be connected with what Joshua presented before. So, first of all, these, uh, these beginner's mistakes, those are the, like the most common ones. Okay, and this is only uh, just a small part of it, since we have like five articles in, the, in our academy, that speak about, um, well, all the Media Buyers mistakes. Those mistakes, they are made, no, they were made by me, they were made by our team at Mobidea, and they are also made by our Media, uh, media Buyer affiliates. So uh, I also recommended you guys to, to, to check our articles in the academy, since, uh, well, there are tons of stuff for uh, newbies. Uh, just to make you a quick introduction about Mobidea, we are very, newbie dedicated, okay, so we, we help a lot of affiliates, uh, uh, like we teach them the basics, we, we show them the path to, uh, to grow, and we are actually some, well, we give uh, very good guidance, okay, and, um, well, basically, ju just to start, so, uh, those common mistakes, once again, is just a small part of it, okay, so the first one is choose easy countries. What I mean by this is that for a newbie, there are some markets that can be very, very competitive, such as, as Joshua mentioned already, uh, Central European countries, Tier 1 countries, there can be very competitive. First, because the, well, the, 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 the traffic is a bit more expensive, uh, and then you have like some big charts uh, playing there, you, have, you also have high payouts uh, sometimes, if, if we speak about CPA, so it means that in, in my case, I would advise you to go to easier geos, such as Latam, uh, Latam geos, such as Asian geos, it's also very important to be aware of what's going on in the market. For example, India currently, it has a lot of volumes, but it's very competitive, okay? You have tons of media buyers playing there, same for Thailand. And so it's very important for you to pick easy geos to start, okay? You pick easy geos to start, you just get used to media buy, to the basics, to uh, how to optimize a the campaign, then you, you kind of, uh, well, you kind of grow to other more competitive geos, okay? That's my advice. Um, well, next one is very important, is learn to wait, okay? You need to gather data. Well, uh, as, as Eric mentioned, we'll, we, 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 we learn a lot from our affiliates, meaning that we, uh, we also have some good case studies, and one affiliate, uh, from the beginning, where well, we were teaching the guy uh, how to do media buy, and then the guy came to us saying, well, I have, I have already my, my campaign created, I, I ran it for one day, can I optimize? And I said, well, depends on the volumes, how much did you spend already? Well, I spent uh, $1, well, it's maybe too soon, okay, just learn to wait, okay, be patient, and gather data once again, as it was already mentioned. Don't optimize too often. It's very important that, actually, I will, I will pass to the, second, to the, to the next one. Don't optimize too often because when, when you make an optimization, you are changing all your campaign, okay? It means that uh, maybe the parameter you optimize uh, will have an impact on other parameters, okay? So it's very important to not optimize too often. You optimize a parameter on your campaign, then you wait for a couple of days to check the, the results, and then you can optimize another parameter, okay? It's very important to be patient. 
then don't change everything at the same time, of course. Okay, you cannot optimize on the same and at the same time a banner, a pre-lender, uh, you cut a device, you cut sources, because then you can go to you can go to like to uh, to to a good profit, but you don't know which parameter you optimized had an impact. Okay, so it's very important to make one optimization, wait a bit, you can take the notes, okay, and then you check after a couple of well, a couple of a couple of hours, a couple of days. Okay, very important. Next one, I think that it is, and this is pretty common from our affiliate. Well, at Mobile, we have more than 100,000 affiliates, and well, we have we have uh, like all the all the kinds of affiliates. And one of one of the one of my advices is to understand the business. Okay, it's very important for you guys to well to go to well uh, start in this business, try to launch uh, some campaigns, but know a bit about the business. And what's uh, what's um, what one of the examples is. To know, first of all, the rules of the business. So, as you know, the, on the offer side, on the traffic side, there are some rules. Okay, you need to know. Uh, I don't know, like the, some well, uh, small, uh, small, small examples. What is a vast company? Uh, do you know that for the next month, the CPA business will be a bit tough in talent due to the funeral, uh, to the funeral of the king there. Uh, stuff such as uh, I don't know, what's uh, what's the purpose of a pre-lender? And all those stuff are very important. That is all. Uh, they are all regarding the business. And it's important for you to have uh, to, to to be curious about the business. Go to the forums. Go to STM. Check the articles. Get knowledge. Okay. And also something important that uh, Joshua mentioned before is that the account managers. Well, at MobID at least we have like 40 affiliates each one of us. Okay. So it means that. Uh, you need to also to separate yourself from the other world, okay? If you if you speak to your account manager and you actually show that you are knowledgeable, that you know the business, you will be like a bit different and you have a bit uh, a, a bit more importance than the other one. So it's very important for you to know the business, okay? Next one is to be very aggressive when you can. What I mean about aggressive is when you run a campaign, you see that there's a very uh, a very good traffic source, a very good website, for example. And uh, well, and you see that after a couple of uh, a couple of impressions, it has a very good performance. This is the time to go for it. Get all the traffic from this source. Uh, uh, put a very like put the highest bid possible, okay? Because tomorrow or in two days, there will be more guys coming and fighting for this specific source. Okay, so when you find the gold mine, you need to uh, like yeah, uh, go for it basically. Okay, take all the juice out of it. Okay, then. It, it was already mentioned that is don't be seduced by high payouts. First of all, as uh, well, to, for media buyers, it's very important to gather data. And normally, you gather data when when you have lots of uh, lots of uh, conversions. And normally, uh, to have a high volume of conversions, those uh, those offers have a lower payout. Okay, so it's preferable sometimes to go for a geo where you have a low where you have a low payout. But uh, thanks to this, you get Lots of data, lots of conversion, and it will, it will be easier for you to optimize your campaign, and it will be faster to optimize your campaign. Okay, because for example, if you run a campaign, a CPA campaign in Switzerland, uh, well, the payouts are like 80 euros, 90 euros, you will need like, to spend a lot of media budget to be able to start optimizing. If you go to Brazil, Argentina, the payouts are lower, uh, you don't need to spend that much amount of budget. Okay, so to, uh, for starters, as a newbie, Go for low payouts. Okay, that's my advice. Then once again, it's a matter of getting knowledge, getting experience, and then you can scale up to other geos, to other uh, types of offers. Okay. Next one, very important, is to be organized. In my opinion, this is something that is not really common in every media buyer. Okay. I can give you a quick example. So once we had uh, we had uh, a Brazilian affiliate. The guys wanted to start media buy. And when he started to run a campaign, it was in Exoclick actually, and he basically he ran ten campaigns in different well different segments, well, different geos, different types of offers, and he gave the same name to all the campaigns. Of course, that he, he will spend time to like to know what's well what's uh, what's the point of each campaign, you know. So it's very important to be organized, uh, give a proper naming to your campaigns, uh, get an Excel sheet or a notepad to take your notes. Okay, what what I used to do when I was doing media buy, um, to be honest, was I had a notepad and I was writing down all the changes that I made and the date in front of it. Okay, so I, I I knew what I did like two days ago and I checked the results and if they were not good, I would like go back to what I had before. 
Okay, so uh, I'm speaking about Excel and Notepad, but you have much more stuff that are very important. But be organized. It will make uh, it will make a save time. And as a media buyer, if you save time, you save money. Okay, very important. Then, as uh, Joshua mentioned, check what the others are doing. Go to Adplexity. Adplexity is one of the best tools that you can have. Okay, that you can uh, take advantage of. You can go there. You can check. What kind of offers are being promoted in a specific geo? You can be, you can check what are the trends, what kind of good calendars you have, what are the offers, the banners, and so on. It's an amazing tool. Well, it has a cost, of course, but it's a very good investment. And in my opinion, you should go for it. Okay? Since, well, um, actually, I can tell you now that uh, Mobile ID has a partnership with Atplexity, where you have a discount of 25%. It's actually pretty good, so you should also take advantage of it. But uh, use Atplexity. It's a very good tool. Also, if you don't, if you want to go for something more simple, let's say that Atplexity, you can just use a VPN, use a proxy, and uh, well, go to other geos and check other websites to, to to see what kind of banners are appearing there. Okay, it can be helpful and well, cheaper, not that effective, but cheaper than Atplexity. Okay. Uh, once again, don't be afraid to test. Okay, you can well from the beginning, as we all know, we are always and it, it was it was. With, it, it was like this with me. I was very afraid to test new offers, new campaigns, new geos. Okay, don't be afraid to test. It's very important. Also, don't launch too many tests uh, at the same time. Okay, go slow, go smoothly. Okay, launch like one, two new tests every day. Okay, and then keep checking, keep optimizing. Okay, but don't be afraid to test because if you have a very good campaign, let's say you have like four amazing campaigns, always giving an amazing profit and so on. But tomorrow, they can, well, for some reason, the offer goes down, there's an issue with the carrier, whatever, they can go down. And you always need to have a backup. And if you don't test other stuff on the side, you will never find the backup. Okay? So, test, keep testing. Okay? And I don't speak only about campaigns, I speak about banners, about pre-lenders. Okay? Keep testing, make A-B tests with your tracker, uh, it can be volume, funnel flux, whatever, uh, but keep testing. Okay? Well, this is the next point, actually, get a good tracker. This is another investment that you need to make. Okay, you need to invest on a good tracker. You have, uh, what, as I said before, volume and funnel floods, very good trackers. iMobitracks, uh, Thrive, you have very good trackers out there. You also have, at MobID, we have a free tracker. So if you want to, well, if you want to start with us, you can check our tracker that is free. But you need to have a tracker. Okay, it's mandatory to, uh, to make A-B tests, to, to, to compare the performance of different offers to your traffic. Very important. It also, uh, work on better angles, better better offers, banners, and so on. Okay. Next one, it was already mentioned by Josh once again. Uh, don't walk alone. When I speak about don't walk alone, is get in touch with your account manager. Okay. So your account manager is well one of the best contacts that you can have in this industry. Okay. He will give you insights about the business, insights about the good offers. He will tell you. Uh, issues that are uh, that are uh, happening now, you, you, will, uh, you will always receive the best offers. So, okay, this is very important. Uh, but uh, be always in touch with your account manager. Like everything in life, I would say communication is the key. Okay, so communicate with your account manager. Um, so, once again, just just to just to summarize this, this is a, a really small summary of five articles we have in the in our academy in mobile the academy about uh, beginners mistakes okay it's very important i i think uh well in my case when i started i i made lots of those mistakes okay so you can go uh, uh, check those articles not only those ones but the other ones articles we have once again we will uh, the goal of the academy is to provide you knowledge teach you the basics and like uh, increase our learning curve uh, as much as we can okay then this is just a small idea of what we have in MobID just for you, well, for you to be aware. So we have all those kinds, of, we have more than 2,000 offers on multiple verticals. Those five ones will be the, well, the top ones, let's say. Uh, so once again, uh, you have a big choice in MobID, different offers. And as, well, you have, you can find here the, the fine sweepstakes that uh, Joshua, that uh, Joshua runs. It's actually one of our top verticals, okay? Then, just to just to summarize, what makes a super affiliate in MobID? So for, uh, first one, 
well, it's 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 pretty. You, you cannot say that this skill or this skill will make you a big affiliate, okay? But those are those can be the most important ones, okay? F uh, first one, uh, every attention to the detail. When you have a campaign, uh, either you check it on the ad network, on the DSP, or on the tracker. Check all the details, okay? The specific source, the specific device, the specific uh, uh, all the all the metrics that you need to analyze. Check everything, okay? And uh, if you check everything. You'll be sure to uh, to check all the gold mines, to find all the gold mines, and uh, to optimize better. It's very important to check all the details. Okay. Next one, as I said before, don't be afraid to test. Okay, it's important to test new things, new types of offers, new traffic sources. Also, okay, don't uh, don't stick to always the same one. Okay, it's good for you to have the reference, as Joshua has op ads. Some uh, media buyers have uh, a specific DSP. Can go uh, can be go to Moby and uh, Zero Park, whatever. But it's very important for you to keep testing another traffic source. Okay, don't stick to the same one. Okay. Uh, well, once again, keep in constant communication with the account manager. Very important. Uh, actually, um, I think that uh, well, in in I, I will speak about mobile idea. Uh, we are we always try to be really reactive, really proactive with our affiliates. Okay, to try to give them uh, like the, the 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 relevant data they need. The relevant offers they need according to their activity, to their traffic source, okay. But if you don't speak with your account manager, you will, you will, well, you won't receive some specific info that can be very important, crucial for your campaign and for your activity, for your media buy campaigns, okay. And once again, try to be curious, okay. Go to forums, to be honest, okay. Go to STM is one of the best. Well, it's to be honest, the best forum out there. Go to STM. Check uh, check all the articles, all the all the comments. Okay, you have several good threads about everything in this, in the in the field marketing industry. Okay, it's very important for you to understand what's going on. Okay, what are the trends? Uh, what are the media buyers doing right now? If they are still doing a lot of, on sweeps, are they moving to cash and delivery? Are they doing more? I don't know antivirus. Uh, and try to get uh, lots of tips. Okay. And well, once again, uh, try to be up to date with the industry trends and the best practices. Okay, it can be a new way to optimize, a new way to use Excel properly, a new ways to use information from uh, volume or for funnel flux. Okay, but be curious about everything that is going on. Very important. Okay, you should not stay like stick to only your campaigns. You know, you should like have a have a broad vision of what's going on. Okay, try to speak also with other media buyers. Uh, try to share knowledge, okay? Try to tell him what what you do and what you what is working for you. He will he will give you back this information as well. Very important, okay? So this was uh, this was once again a very quick presentation about well about the main mistakes uh, that that are being done by by our media buyers and I made them. Our media buy team at Mobile made them, okay? So it's very important for us. To learn from our mistakes, okay. Every day we learn from our mistakes, okay.